Hello and welcome to this Phoenix Health and Safety presentation on the hazards and control measures applicable to circular saws. The hazards from circular saws include cutting or severing from contact with the blade, entanglement of clothing or long hair with rotating parts, ejection of the material being worked upon or sparks or debris, manual handling or ergonomic issues from holding or manipulating the workpiece, hazardous substances such as metal working fluids or dust, Noise and vibration, leading to noise-induced hearing loss or hand-arm vibration syndrome. Slips and trips around the saw, for example from off-cuts or a build-up of swarf. We will now look at some of the control measures that could be implemented to protect against these hazards. Wherever possible, fixed guards should be used that enclose the hazard. This is particularly important when access to the moving parts is not required. The rest of the blade should be covered by a self-adjusting guard that allows the workpiece to pass through but then automatically moves back into position. Note here how the self-adjusting guard automatically springs back into place when the pressure is removed. Hold to run controls mean that the saw only operates whilst the control is pressed. They are also known as a dead man's handle. Releasing the control results in the machine coming to a stop quickly. This should be within 10 seconds of the control being released. Note how the machine stops quickly when the control is released. Machine operators should be fully trained in the hazards and control measures that apply to circular saws. The training should include how to load and unload workpieces, how to remove swarf safely, how to operate controls correctly and any personal protective equipment requirements. The training should be adequately recorded. Adequate personal protective equipment should be provided including impact resistant eye protection. Appropriate controls applicable to noise and vibration would include ensuring that the workpiece is clamped securely, ensuring that saw blades are kept sharp and in good condition, and monitoring noise levels, providing training and issuing hearing protection. Other relevant control measures would include adequate lighting to ensure good visibility of hazards, good housekeeping to minimise the risk of slips and trips and adequate supervision to ensure health and safety procedures are complied with. 